Hello everybody, this is your boy Ants Canada. Um, for today's tutorial, I wanted to um, do a video on how to properly brood boost. Um, now, in this case, it's going to be brood boosting from a colony that I already have. Uh, this here is one of my Formica Fusca colonies, one of our several Formica Fusca colonies. And uh, they were doing really, really well. Lots of brood, lots of eggs, lots of larvae. They were eating well. If you can see there, look closely. Their gasters are nice and full, full of honey and crickets. But today, the queen passed away. See, they're still trying to clean her right now. It's really, really sad. Um, you know, sometimes it's it's difficult because uh, queens or colonies will falter for you know unknown reasons. It's difficult to say. See, they're trying to carry and move her now. I tried um, adding a little bit of moisture into the nest um, to hopefully get her to come back to life, but uh, it was uh, it's very hard. All right, so I've got my test tube here, and one thing I will need for this operation is this right here. It's um, an original Ants Canada product called a test tube portal, um, and it essentially fits right over the test tube, like so, and uh, it allows the ants to properly move in to the test tube. You know, you don't need tape, you don't need any of that. I'm going to remove this tube here at the back, um, which uh, the ants are frequenting. Let's see here. Remove this tube, and I'm going to replace it with this here. Let's do that now. Okay, so now that the test tube is attached to the formicarium, I'm going to now detach this tube at the back here which leads to their outworld because we don't want them moving into that tube so I'm just going to go and plug that up see um, and to make the test tube more inviting I'm going to add this cover to the test tube it's going to cover it up make it nice and dark um, and a lot more ideal for the ants. Here we go. This is why I always encourage um, others to keep their ants covered. You know, it's possible to get ants used to living in the light, but if you keep your ants covered, it makes moving them later um, much more easy. Okay, well, it's the next day and um, they didn't completely move into the tube um, and there's some of the brood in there um, so uh, another thing I'm going to try to get them to move into the tube is to just simply expose this nest to light and it looks like it might be working um, and I'm also leaning the nest over a little bit you see just so that the um, test tube which is back there is the lowest part of the entire living space now what I've done here is I've removed one of the vinyl flaps just to relieve the nest of some of the uh, moisture that's inside the habitat nest they're still bringing that brood into the tube See that? so this plan is working okay so the workers are uh, pretty much moved into the test tube now I'm pretty sure um, some of them are coming out to scout the area to see if they've left any eggs larvae or pupae behind um, the next step here then is to detach the test tube 
from the formicarium. Great, we have the colony inside the test tube. Set that down there. And now we simply place a cotton swab into the entrance. You see them? All piled in there. Whoops. Wow, they've really piled them in there. I'm going to go ahead and now place this test tube in the fridge. Um, I'll, put, I'll put it in the coldest part here into this freezer section here um, to speed up the process. They only need to be in here for three minutes. So while the um, ants and brood are chilling out, <laughs> no pun intended, um, I wanted to talk about brood boosting in general. Um, you know, we don't encourage that you brood boost unless it's absolutely necessary. One circumstance where it would be necessary is uh, if you, for example, have a queen like this. She's another Formica fusca queen. And last year she kept producing brood, but then she would cannibalize it. Um, you know, sometimes queens don't do so well in their first few tries. Um, and if you pupae boost them, um, it increases their chances of uh, giving rise to a successful colony. Um, but another option is to pupa, pupae boost or brood boost um, an already existing colony like this Formica Fusco colony here. Um, they're, do they're doing very well um, and they don't really need pupae boosting, but for the purposes of this video, um, I'm going to show you how to pupae boost um, the colony. Before we get the workers from the fridge, we want to reattach the outworld, this was their outworld before, to the formicarium once again. Remember we had to detach that um, so they couldn't bring the brood into the tube. But now that there's no brood, uh, we want to reattach this outworld. Uh, to the nest and what we're going to do is we're going to simply take the workers out of that test tube um, and drop them into the outworld so they can go back into the nest um, and they'll pretty much live in this nest um, until they die out as you know one of the uh, one of the code premises principles of the ants canada ant store is that ants are our pets and we wouldn't want to kill them unnecessarily so we just let them let them die naturally. Um, one thing a lot of people are against in the ant community is releasing them back into the wild um, and that's because they may carry uh, contagions that they might have contracted um, and that's a whole whole nother issue um, that I can talk about on another tutorial. Okay so here we go we've now got our workers and brood all chilled out very slow now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open this and use a barbecue skewer to guide the workers into the outworld one by one so let's do that now while keeping the pupa inside the test tube and there we go we've got a test tube full of brood eggs larvae all in there um, and our workers are in the outworld for them to return to the main nest which is there um, and now for the next phase what we're going to do is we're going to reattach the other end of this test tube portal um, onto the end of the test tube like so Um, we're going to remove this cotton, of course, and then all we got to simply do is attach this tube to the formicarium. Bring life back to the love, and there we go. Now all we got to do is wait uh, for the ants to transport everyone back to the main nest. He's not the 
one that made you feel inside that love you felt when you and I were one. I look at you in him. You're two, not one within. It's so plain to see your love was meant for me. Take us back, baby, take us back, us back. Oh, baby, oh, take, take us back. back. When you and I were together. Oh, 